when we watch a video, most of us can quickly pick out what we don't like about it. But in this video, did you pick up on the halogen forks placed with the concave side towards the door frame so it didn't penetrate or bite into the metal while it was being forced? Or the irons team working in unison, striking the halogen only during the command to hit? When the door was forced, the firefighter quickly checked behind it for a victim. The door was controlled but left partially open so the officer could look under the thermal layers of smoke. He noticed the apartment had no floors. He relayed this to his team. In addition, he informed them that they would move in slowly upon entering the building. Normally, when forcing metal doors, we place the concave side of the forks towards the door. Firefighters must ensure the forks don't penetrate into the door jam when being struck. Firefighters can place the forks to the halogen with the concave side to the door jam. This will reduce the chances of the forks penetrating into the jam. Remember, the shoulders of the forks are another striking surface to hit with the axe. Firefighters should always try the doorknob prior to forcing open the door. Another method is to slide the ads between the door and the jam to gain a purchase or force a door with a cheaper lock. Many doors have angle iron bolted onto them for extra security. Shearing the bolts or tearing the angle iron off can add time. Simply place the forks behind the angle and begin to force the door. The angle iron acts as a fulcrum and can assist us force open the door. Firefighters must use caution when forcing doors with protective guards over the locks. The bolt heads have sheared off when forcing the door and have become flying projectiles which could cause an injury to a firefighter.